Hey yo, how's it going guys? So I probably am gonna end up mentioning this on a community post on the YouTube channel, but originally I was gonna do a Wi-Fi battle. Unfortunately, something happened to my SD card and I had a format, which means I lost all my files, all my save files, all my battle files, like everything. So I'm pretty sure I found a way to fix that. Shout out to my boy Aaron2420 for helping me. So hopefully I'll be able to fix that, but I am just, I'm kind of annoyed honestly, but if the fix works out, then hopefully things will be good. But yeah, uh, just, I'm really sorry. I don't know what happened, but Sumo Wi-Fi Battles will be coming. Just might be pushed back another day or so. But in the meantime, I do have a showdown live for you guys. It's been a minute since I've done one of these as well. And I was like, hey, I can probably do one with like two or three battles real quickly. So it might just be a real fast showdown live just because I'm crunched on time. And yeah, I was going to record the battle render and then upload it so hopefully I can do the same for this and this won't be up entirely too late but this is a pretty cool team I got from my boy Harris so uh let's get this started uh yeah uh if you guys do enjoy the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below uh support would be greatly appreciated guys so looking at the team matchup here nasty plot Celebi is actually a little bit scary uh Bisharp kind of stops my Gengar since uh without a sub I get wrecked but looking at leads probably the Rotom my Hydreigon's doing nothing this game, like, at all. He could actually just leave Rotom, honestly. And just Volt Switch out. That's so annoying, dude. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know what to leave with. Like, I could lead Infernape, but then what do I switch into Rotom? He just overheats or Volt Switches, and that's bad in itself. I think, man, I guess, like, Infernape's my best lead here, unfortunately. So, just gonna go straight for the U-turn. And I guess I go into Hydreigon here, as he potentially just Volt Switches or Overheats. As he does Volt, I don't think he specs, that did pretty much no damage to me. So he can just be aggressive and bring in Primarina, which I don't necessarily have the best switch into. Uh, I think, oh, he's gonna ice me. No, Scald, okay, thank you. Ooh. That does not do much damage, so I don't think... This is Specs. Well, no, it could still be Specs. It's still, like, terrifying regardless. And I kind of want to double here, but I'm not really in a good spot. I'm going to try and Spore as he's just fishing for a burn now. So this could actually just be Rest Talk Prima Arena. To hell and back. All right, buddy. I see you. I see you. So I could bring in Gengar, try to get up a sub, and just deal damage. I could also bring in my own Primarina. I think I'm going to try to bring in Gengar. Oh, are you Scarfed? I really feel like you're Scarfed. Yeah, he's Scarfed. As he just keeps Volt Switching. Okay. So I need to get on my Rocks as well. But unfortunately, Steelix does not have a good matchup here. Like, at all. Uh, this could give me my Steelix here. I don't think he should to a me with anything. As he misses an Ice Fang. Actually, I could have lived that Ice Fang. I actually could have lived that, so I'm not sure why he wanted to go for that in particular. I could bring in my Primarina, go for Scald, Moonblast, and Celebi is also another play I could do. Do I want to roost up with Hydreigon yet? Not really. I think Primarina is probably my best switch in here. Yeah, as he just goes for Defog. So I'm going to try and Moonblast. Hopefully deal some damage to Celebi. Or deal some damage to this Primarina. We'll see if it's Leftovers. It is Leftovers. So I'm going to just be aggressive here and spam Moonblast. As we get a crit, Sleep Talk. It is Sleep Talk. And unfortunately, because of the crit and him getting a drop there, he gets Scald Burn probably. No Burn, okay. So I can just Moonblast again. I'm being pretty adamant about it. That's fine. Like, if I can get a, Spadef, a special attack drop, that'd be nice. But no, unfortunately, we do not. As this could just go straight for Nasty Plot. I'm, I want to be aggressive, dude. I really want to be aggressive here. I'm going to be aggressive. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Ah, okay. Whew. So good thing I did not stay in there. And I'm just going to U-turn here. So he knows we're Scarf now. He probably is going to go for an Aerial Ace. And we can try to bring in our Steelix here, most likely. As he gets up his rocks, we are going to be able to get up our own rocks as well. I'm not sure why he has rocks on this. Does he not have Roost then? I'm guessing he has Stone Edge, Earthquake, Ice Fang, and Stealth Rocks. That would make sense. Oh, he's probably going to wake up this turn. I'm going to switch into Gengar. I'm hoping he'll go for a rest. Oh! 
Yes! Okay, so this is good. This is good. Uh, I think I can just Shadow Ball, honestly. I'm gonna Shadow Ball. I'm just gonna sub. Oh, we got him! Oh, oh dude! <laughs> Bro, please no, Gang. Please. Gengar, please. Gengar, please. Gengar, please. Please, Gengar. I have not hit a Focus Blast in like three days. I lost the battle because I missed two Focus Blasts back to back. Come on, baby, don't. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. As he switches into uh, Gligar. Oh my god, hard laugh, dude. That was the utmost of hardest laughs ever. 42%, good god. So with Metronome, we knock him out. That's nice. I don't think he stays in here. Yeah, so down this goes. Him losing Gligar is actually really good. Do you have- there's no way you have Pursuit on this. There's no way. Yeah, I was about to say, there's actually no way. Ooh, just eating that for days, so... I could go for a Heavy Slam here. He has no real switch into Heavy Slam except his Rotom. Which I could double into Hydreigon, actually. You don't Earthquake again. Yeah, okay. Ooh, I almost stayed in. I almost stayed in. But I was like, there's no reason for you to Earthquake in that scenario. There never really is. So I'm going to be aggressive with Dark Pulse here. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that this is Scarfed. Rotom at this point so we can win with potential scarf ape most likely as in comes the bisharp and we do zero on that I'm gonna try and roost here see what he goes for iron head that does a lot of damage hmm I don't think a Z Draco would knock this out. Let's see. If it does, that'd be great. Draco Meteor. Oh, does a Z Draco actually knock him out? Oh, a Z Draco knocks him out here. Okay. Alright, so this should drop. Unless this is Assault Vested. It's Assault Vested? What? Bro, what are you telling me here? Why is this Assault Vested? Okay, so this is a little bit unfortunate. As I've lost my best switch into Rotom. Oh, I could still win with Infernape. There's the thing. I'm gonna bring in a Moose. Hmm. Because if I force in Celebi, that gives me a free switch in the Gengar to then Shadow Ball. Rotom. I really feel like we live one hit. If he overheats here, I bring in Primarina for free. I'm gonna clear slow. Oh, and we crit him, unfortunately. So we can't overheat here. Honestly, I really lose nothing in just leaving in my Amoongus. Yeah, like, I'm fine with that, actually. Yeah, this is good. Okay, this is good. This is good. We're still in a good spot here. We're still in a good spot here. I can bring in Infernape, U-turn into Gengar. As I invite in Aerodactyl. And I guess I sack off my Primarina to Aerodactyl. Or I can just bring in Gengar, Revenge Kill this. Yeah, and I bring in Aerodactyl anyway, so my Infernape doesn't have to take rocks. So, yeah, just gonna go... Actually, I could sub... I could really try to sub here. I'm going to try and sub. Because he can miss. Ah, okay, that's fine. This still is getting KO'd by rocks. So it's fine. Uh, yeah, I think I just sacked Primarina here. Because then I can bring in Steelix. Heavy Slam and then U-Turn. Yeah, okay. I sack off Primarina here. I really don't need this anymore. I don't need this anymore. So we can actually maybe live another hit. Which would be nice, as he just obliterates us. And I don't want to lock myself into close combat, because then Celebi gets a free setup. Doesn't matter, actually. Well, no, Steelix is still actually my better play. Because he's most likely going to sack off his Rotom anyways. 
In which case, yeah, Celebi still comes in for free, but Steelix punishes it by heavy slamming it, or gyro balling it, I guess, in this case. So I'm just going to gyro ball here. This is definitely my best play. He should sack off Rotom if he wants to keep this arrow because he needs this arrow to outspeed my Gengar. But Infernape might actually just be able to win with U-Turn. We'll see. Primarina could come in here, potentially. Yeah, that's what I was a little concerned about. Try and Earthquake him. As he wakes up and he goes for the rest. Ah, I thought about switching into Gengar. I really, really did. But we are doing pretty nice damage to this. Okay, so that's fine. We're still in a good spot here. Actually, yeah, I can just Gyro Ball this. Oh, no. No, I don't think Gyro Ball will actually kill. Wait, what? hold on. I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to mess this up. So let's see. He didn't have leftovers. Oh, Gyro Ball blows this back. Okay. So he's going to Z-move. Oh, I die. Yeah, okay. I just died. I died a horrible, horrible death there. Does close combat knock this out? If I bring in Gengar... Oh, no, I don't think... Hmm. I bring in Infernape. I U-turn as he brings in potentially Aerodactyl when I lose. I might have lost. Oh, I might have lost here, actually. No, okay. No, yeah, because I don't... I don't one-shot the Primarina. I don't one-shot Primarina. Yeah. Ah, I think we lose here, boys. Mm, did I throw that away? Let's see. Well, how much did we do? Let's see. We have Thunder Punch. If we had Gunk Shot here, I'd definitely go for it. But that does nothing. Let's see. We are Iron Fisted, I guess. Only this 40%. So we have to Iron Fist Thunder Punch here. Alright, guys. It all comes down to this. If we get a max roll. Come on, baby. Yes! Oh, that was a GG. Oh my lord, that was that was way too close. Let's let's get one more. Hold on. Alright, guys, so we got the second battle here, most likely the last one. So let's see. Unfortunately, another Gligar that's gonna be really annoying. Uh Gengar can potentially put in some work, depending on this Blissey set. Actually, I need to get rid of Blissey for my. Hydreigon. Couldn't I just lead a Moongus? I'm gonna lead a Moongus. Because I just put something to sleep for free. Okay, that's really nice. Curse Steelix looks really good too. Curse looks once Gligar is gone. Actually, I could probably beat Gligar 1v1 with Curse Steelix, I think. Let's see. If that's the case, then. Like plus one, minus one speed. Oh yeah, if I get to like plus two. If I get to plus two, plus two, then... It just gets murdered. Okay, I'll take that. So he's going to lead off with this. I'm just going to go straight for the Spore. As he turns out to have the Taunt. Oh no, that makes things actually way, way harder here. Okay. I was really not expecting him to have the Taunt. And now this is a problem. Try to bring in Primarina here, hopefully. As he goes for the rocks, that's not too big of an issue. Scald is definitely my play here. I hit whatever comes in. I could potentially burn this Tentacruel too. That'd be kind of nice. As I do not. I'm going to try and fish for a burn here. Getting rid of this Tentacruel would be really nice in the long run. As he burns us, do we not get a burn? Awesome, okay. So this is rather unfortunate. If we're not able to burn this Tentacruel back. A uh, defensive Primarina can like deal with most of his mons. It's just that I'm not dealing a lot of damage back. That's the problem. I'm not going to be doing enough damage back. So I'm going to try to bring in Steelix here and hopefully get up my rocks as he'll stay in. Is what I'm expecting. No. So a nice double into his Primarina. going to try and bring in my Amoongus here because that is my best switch in. As I'm sure that this is not defensive. Oh my god, it specs. Alright then, that's terrifying. 
try and sub here and focus blast. We missed the other focus blast. Maybe we'll hit this one. As that does something. Bro, he's got fire blast? Why do you have fire blast? Oh, that's mad annoying, dude. Try and sub here. Focus Blast is my best way to hit this too, unfortunately. Mmm, I might just get tossed here. I might just get tossed here. This can't poison! <laughs> can always get a poison. Yeah, I don't... I don't beat Blissey. I don't beat this. Alright guys, so this is probably going to be the last battle here, second to last match no this is gonna be the last one yeah because i had the first one the second one was super kick so i was like forget it we'll just put a third one in here all right so this team actually looks kind of scary what do i want to lead with infernape looks really good what i don't know if i like thunder punch on this infernape what's with all the gligars dude gligar is that oh dude that's actually such an annoying pokemon to deal with <laughs> it's actually such an annoying pokemon to deal with i'm gonna lead a primarina as he leads Empoleon, I'm just going to try and fish for burns early on here. It's the best thing I can do. Uh, unless I get really unlucky and I don't burn, then that would suck. As in comes a little muck. I'm going to burn. No burn. Try to bring in Steelix here and hopefully get on my rocks. If this has Fire Blast, that'd be a little bit annoying. But we are Mega, so I can hopefully get on my rocks here. As he makes an aggressive switch directly into Empoleon. I remember Empoleon plus Gligar. 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 <laughs> Being a really cool defensive core back in the day, as I will be able to bring in Amoongus here. And on the Scald, we're going to get burned, right? No, okay, actually, that's really nice. I'm happy about that. Thank you for not burning me, sir. Thank you for not burning me. So, I might pull a double here into Primarina, expecting the Chestnut. Yeah, this way I can hopefully go for a Moon Blast, as we should tank anything he wants to go for. Eventually, if he gets a spikes, he's going to be forced to defog. Oh my god, that did so much. Oh my god. My Primarina, no. My Primarina, no. Uh, actually, I can probably rest on Empoleon, most likely. Yeah, Moltres coming in here was a little obvious. I don't have the best switch in now. I think Hydreigon still lives any hit. I'm going to switch into Hydreigon here. Yeah, I don't think you would have popped your Z there. That wouldn't have made much sense in my opinion. So I'm going to fire off a Dark Pulse here, which might be enough to knock this out actually. Hold on. Yeah, that's got to be Specs, because that did too much damage. Oh no, that's 67%. Oh, if it's Scarfed? Ooh, it could be Scarfed. Uh oh. Bro. Mm, do I want a Draco or a Roost? What if he goes for a Z? Z Hurricane obliterates us. So I can probably just Draco here, actually. I really don't think you're going to save this, though, is the thing. I'm going to Dark Pulse. Okay. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't save the Moltres. That wouldn't have made sense, I think. I could just be aggressive and try and weaken this Empoleon. Because this is his only defogger along with Gligar. Do I need my Hydreigon? My Hydreigon's probably not doing entirely too much in this game. So I'm just going to try and go for Dark Pulse here. So he's got Scald, Protect, Stealth Rocks. As we get a flinch, that's awesome. Try and Roost here on his Protect. And now we can just Dark Pulse this next turn again. As we don't get a flinch, and he gets a burn, unfortunately. So I'm going to Roost here. As he switches into the muck. Okay, that's good. So we're going to be able to keep our Hydreigon around. It does suck that we got hit by the burn there. But it shouldn't be entirely too bad. As I will be able to bring in Steelix here. On a potential fire move? No, the knockoff. Okay, so good. I really want to go for Curse. I'm going to Curse expecting Gligar. Yes, okay. So he might try to go for a Defog now. Which is not the worst thing ever. Because we're going to do a lot of damage to this. As he actually brings in Napoleon, this is going to do zero. Oh, he just barely lives. Por qué? Do I outspeed Napoleon? I should outspeed Napoleon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to bring in my Primarina here in hopes that we can spin. 
I'm an idiot because he was in Torrent. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm actually dumb. I'm actually just dumb. Alright, boyos, this is a little bit annoying now. So, Muck is going to get its berry activated here. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. So, I kind of want to Z Draco here because I feel like I've been bringing in Steelix every single time. So, I'm going to Z Draco here. Absolutely blow this back. It just died. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. In comes Altaria. If this is Scarf, this is a little bad. I think I need to bring in Steelix here. Yeah, this is probably my best answer for this. As he makes a nice double there into his Empoleon. I'm gonna Earthquake. Mmm. I can just bring back in Empoleon. Well, actually, no. Doesn't Gligar just win? I think Gligar just wins. No, I mean, Gengar just wins. What am I talking about? Yeah, this is a straight to a KO, fam. Oh, bop. And now we're racking up our metronome. We're racking up the metronome. I sludge wave this. Most likely. Hold on. I don't know. Like, I have metronome at plus two now. So, will that do more than stab Shadow Ball? Well, I know sludge wave is stab two and it's super effective. But I just want to want to make sure on this. Metronome twice. We do about 40-ish percent. I think I have to sludge wave here then. Sludge wave. Oh, it just barely lives. And it goes for the roost. Oh, that's fine then. That's fine. Yeah, we have metronome. Okay. Woo, yes. All right, we win. Oh, my lord. This game was getting a little bit scary. This game was getting a little bit scary. But yeah, guys, it's going to be the quick showdown live. This was actually pretty fun. The first game was intense. I got my ass eight game two, and we were able to win game number three. So with that, we're going to uh, meet once again, most likely tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you all later.